But if you highlight it in 3D, it makes it even more interesting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in Filmora. Let's dive in. The first thing that you need to do is to get some uh, news articles. I have this news article which I snapshot from my local newspaper over here. And by the way, if you hear any rain or thunderstorm, it is not the effect that I added into the video. There is really a thunderstorm going on outside right now. With that out of the way, let's get started. Media on to your timeline. Head on over to your stock media and go to library and go for solid colors. Now I'm going to use a yellow. You can use gradient or any other color that you prefer. So let's just uh, bring this down and I'm just going to match it to my project settings and I am going to uh, fit it to the length of my video clip. My video clip is about two uh, seconds long, so just nice. Select a solid color, double click on it, go to transform. Now I am going to uh, turn down the opacity first as well as change the blend mode to either darken or multiply but you can also do something like color burn which is even more uh, interesting and I'm just going to do color burn. Next, I am going to reduce this further and you can see that the text that I highlighted is changing. So I'm going to select this further and I just want to select this text at the top to highlight it. So I'm just resizing this uh, box to just highlight this text. Next. With the color still selected, go to mask and select this linear mask. Since I want the highlight to scroll from left to right, I am going to rotate this so that the yellow is on the left hand side. I can also type this in 180 if I want to get this just right. And what you want to do now is to hit on the transform button for the mask. Okay, so somewhere around here. I want all my text to be highlighted. So I'm just going to move the mask to the edge over here. Next, I'm going to move back to the beginning of the color clip and select the mask again and click transform. And I'm going to move this mask to the front. All right. So at this stage, this is what we, have, we got. Next, what we need to do is to create a compound clip I'm just going to select the color as well as the news uh, cutting. Right click and click create a compound clip. And I'm just going to leave it as compound clip number one. So this is what you get. Okay. Now, by making a compound clip, it makes editing simpler. Next, go to effects. And there's a few ways you can do this. So one is we're going to use a corner pin to do this. I'm going to show you later. First, I'm going to show you a simpler method, which is using the 3D effect. And you can use 3D motion left or motion right. So let's just use 3D motion left. I am going to place the effect above on the timeline and I get something like this. And let's just adjust this a bit by reducing the blur so that the text is clearer. And I am going to adjust the speed of this as well and feather it slightly. Perfect. Now, I'm not sure what the X and Y here does uh, because I tried changing this. So far by changing the position X and Y, it doesn't do anything on the screen. So perhaps a bug or maybe it shouldn't be there. Doesn't matter. Now, what about the corner pin? The corner pin will give you greater control. So I'm just going to go back to my media and this time uh, using a separate article and I'm just going to repeat what I've done right up to the corner pin. You can blur the mask if you want to blur the mask so that this line over here isn't so distinct. So now we're going to use this effect, which is the corner pin effect. I have a video which talks about corner pin in greater detail. If you haven't watched that, you may want to watch that as well. So this is my video with the corner pin effect placed. This is what it looks like. So let's start adjusting it. So first I am going to mark all the corner pins. Okay. And I want to let the highlight move 
right up until where all the text are finished highlight highlighting and back off slightly okay and then I will mark the next keyframe for the corner pin so here the text is moving this way so let's say I want the text to move slightly different with the corner pin now I want to make this adjustment uh, let's just zoom out slightly so I can see things a bit better okay now Let's adjust the first corner pin. I'm going to adjust the top left over here. All right. And I'm going to adjust the lower left. And for the upper right. And the lower right, make it smaller as well. So do you see that for a corner pin, it gives you greater uh, control. So let's move into the end of the clip create another keyframe for all this and now I will slowly adjust this and adjust the Y position let's adjust the Y to make it bigger okay and let's do the upper right Now, if you adjust this properly, you can make the entire thing shift from uh, moving in 3D and then it sort of slides over. However, it will take a little bit more effort to do that. So you can do that as well. And one other thing that you can remember is that this is adjusting the corner pin. Uh, you can also adjust this using the basic uh, transform as well. So let's put a keyframe here. This is for the uh, video. I'm just going to put another keyframe over here. For the position so there you have it how to adjust create 3d highlighting text in using filmora if you just take some effort you can adjust all these effects in working together and create something really interesting if you learned something from this video do give it a thumbs up and Check out what's on the screen right now for other tips on Filmora and other video reviews that I've done using AI as well.